at uh, Startup Lab. Uh, special guest here today, Stepan. First of all, thank you so much for having me. Like, I think you know, this whole space and the whole vibe here is very amazing. Uh, I mean, and also just visiting Oslo on like the first week of my new company, right? Is also just amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good place to start, I, I think. And uh, for those of you who might not know, like, um, as you said, I'm mostly active on LinkedIn. And I think that uh, like the, the reason I started the whole thing, I, I'll go back like a step and say that I really started because of a calling I felt. I felt a calling in me uh, to start posting on LinkedIn to start sharing my knowledge uh, because I always believed in, in sharing knowledge it's just enriching everybody it's, it's enriching the environment and we can solve problems faster and we can reach our goals much faster after a few years in the industry and the AEC industry um, especially like maybe the last couple of years I was a big architectural yeah. firm uh, and it was super exciting I'm, I'm super happy about my time there I am taking a leap of faith um, and the, the reason I'm doing this is because I really believe that what I have to share uh, can benefit a, a, a millions of people. So yeah, it was a very exciting journey and I decided to um, actually jump into it straight and figure out the details later. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> but uh, you hit something that's uh, really popular. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are commenting on your LinkedIn posts, liking it, sharing it. So it's yeah. definitely hitting uh, the target, yeah. like the AEC industry and the AI and how to find solutions to use the AI. Mm. So it's super interesting. Uh, for those who are uh, going to start with AI, do you have any recommendation to how to get into AI? Yes. From different stakeholders, if you're an architect or uh, engineer or building owner? I'm going to answer this in two ways, both uh, a mindset way and a practical way. So first, I believe that we should all accept a, mi a mindset of abundance. Yeah. There's a lot more problems to solve than we are here as humans and that we can actually solve ourselves. So it's necessary just to think abundantly, to think open-mindedly. Um, and to actually share and contribute as much as we can to, uh, and help each other. Uh, one of the ways more practically that people can start with AI and learning about AI in our industry, um, I would actually refer, I think the, 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 one of the good places to start is the open source uh, uh, Notion Hub I made. It's called the yeah. AEC AI Hub, okay. where I currently listed hundreds of tools and again, it's free for everybody to access. They can start their research there and see what the best tools are and how they can use it uh, in their work. So when you come into a company, uh, you probably <coughs> advise them on, on some AI tools and what they can do, but you don't actually do the coding yet. So for example, Reup can come in and maybe create some custom tools for, for the company. We have many developers in uh, our company who is working with AI. My kind of role uh, or something that I re I'm really passionate about is that I am uh, kind of say an, an antenna yeah. for what is happening out there, what are the major trends, and how can people and companies benefit from it. And then when we talk about more specific solutions, more customized solutions, I believe that that's when companies like Reop come in that can help you deliver your project to the vision you have it for, for it and to help you introduce, uh, among other things, AI into your own workflow and help you be more productive and speed up the processes, among other things. AI, is it, um, is it good or bad news? Is it like any danger with it? It's, uh, is it going to take our jobs? Uh, I, th uh... I think AI is amazing news okay. for the AC industry. Good to hear. Yes, it is. Because I just can't see. We have all these sustainable goals, specifically sustainable goals, among other ones, of how, we need, how much we need to build, how much we need to produce. But specifically sustainable goals, we always hear about always the new rules and how we're not reaching them. Then we feel bad for a moment, but we are not changing it much. Yeah. So I believe that AI can really help us be more productive. It can empower us to know more, to solve more problems faster, more quicker, yeah. and to reach all these goals in time. It's been proven that construction is one of those sectors that are going to be least impacted by AI in terms of replacing jobs. Our industry is very fragmented and this is what I, what I, why I don't think that the fear of AI stealing somebody's data is that big because our industry for one, one, one reason or another yeah. is very siloed, it's very kind of decentralized and a lot of companies are actually protecting the data. So I think that AI as a start, one of the best starting points could be to integrate it into your own company see to help you navigate your own systems and then go a bit more externally. So when it comes to safety, uh, to collecting your own data, the, the, one of the perks is uh, having a custom developer, having customized AI tools. I think that where the real power of AI lies is actually within customized solutions. Why I say that is because you have more control of what's happening with your data, you have more control of what the outcome is, 
and how the outcome is actually being generated. And I think this is very powerful, especially for our industry, because our projects are so complex that they require customized solutions in many cases. It's super exciting that you're starting your own com company, but uh, many people are probably wondering, what are you going to do? What, what are you going to provide? Do you have any plans for the future? Or is it like open for many doors for you? I would say it like this. So I started, I started this company because I know my why. Yeah. My why is to empower every AC professional to be more productive, to leverage their knowledge and to increase uh, their AI skills uh, with the best AI uh, solutions and with the best AI information they can get. And I do that in a way where I share a bunch of information, mainly for free, and also like some customized solutions, of course. Um, and of course, I'm open to hear from anybody who wants a strategic plan on how their company or how, how they can use it individually as AI coaching or how their company can implement AI uh, strategically okay. and how they can use it to make, have happier customers, to have better internal and, and faster internal processes. Why I believe that companies like Rio, who are familiar with uh, development of tools and software them, them, themselves, but also have employees who have the industry knowledge because they have worked in different companies before, uh, I believe that they can really help companies both uh, introduce AI to their own workflows, but also just to boost productivity and boost data validation and, and help you make the project how you imagined it to be. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for coming here at Startup Lab, for coming here to talk with us in uh, Reop. It's uh, super exciting and uh, good luck with your journey as your own company. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure and thank you so much for having me.